Greetings and welcome back to room 303 in sophomore English. We turn now in our hymnals to page 649. We're going to be lurk, working with Lurk as the guitar. Um, before we go there, though, just to remind, around page 639, our focus at 2B is to analyze the speaker in poetry and to get a sense, especially in lyrical poetry, we're about to look at a lyric poem. The speaker here will share thoughts, feelings, insights to create a single unified impression. Um, let's turn to... Uh, to the next page, 641, for just a second. Uh, Lorca is a poet, you, you see the dates there, 1898 to uh, 1936, poet and playwright, considered one of the greatest of the Spanish writers, writing most of his poems shortly after World War I. Let's turn now to this poem, and at level one, just write this down, this question. How do you describe a broken heart? The Picasso painting, by the way, on 648, really doesn't have anything to do with this poem, but it has a lot to do with this poem. You'll understand once we get through it. Let's just enjoy a reading of this poem. Try and follow along with me. Pay close attention to the ways that I try to read the poem. We'll have an example of Enjanman. That's the line continuing, so you don't want to stop at the end of the line. Let's see how we work. The guitar. Now begins the cry of the guitar. Breaking the vaults of dawn, now begins the cry of the guitar. Useless to still it, impossible to still it. It weeps monotonously as weeps the water, as weeps the wind over snow. Impossible to still it. It weeps for distant things, Warm southern sands desiring white camellias. It mourns the arrow without a target, the evening without morning, and the first bird dead upon a branch. O oh, guitar, a wounded heart, wounded by five swords. Okay, jot down at level one. If you had to summarize what this poem is about, how would you summarize it in terms of what this poem simply says? Well, there it is at the end of the last two lines, huh? A wounded heart. That is to say, this is a poem about someone who has suffered in love and been somehow hurt. Of course, we're all familiar with the feelings of what it feels like to have the confidence of someone, the trust of someone, the love of someone, and then for it to go away. But notice the guitar then becomes a symbol of a kind, of an instrument that can translate what that sorrow is like. What does it feel like to have your heart broken? I don't know. Let's work through the poem now and get some sense of it. Notice the guitar and the sounds of the guitar is the cry of the guitar. The cry of the guitar, notice the repetition, is useless to still it. In other words, you can't stop the pain of a broken heart so easy. Impossible to still it. Notice, it weeps monotonously. Life becomes sadly monotonous when our heart is broken. A couple of similes. What's it like to have your heart broken? As weeps the water, as weeps the wind over snow. Interesting word pictures. Again, impossible to still it. And then it weeps for distant things, the past. If only I could go back to a time before. Warm southern sands, the desiring of something maybe from a long time ago. It mourns the arrow without a target. There's no purpose anymore. Write that down. No purpose anymore. The evening without morning. There's, there's no sense of fluidity in life when one's heart is broken. The first bird dead upon a branch. A sad word picture. Birds representative of hope, representative of freedom. In other words, I have no freedom. And then at line 25, oh, guitar, exclamation point. And then finally, a wounded heart, wounded by five swords. In other words, I can't come back from this one. This pain is too great. Jump to 2A. What does this one mean for you? In what ways does a poem like this speak in terms of messages? The worst pain is the pain of broken trust, broken confidence, broken love. Another major message, it's virtually impossible 
to come up with the right language to describe what it feels like to have a broken heart. When the world falls apart and you have no place to go and no way to explain to anyone that pain. It's interesting in the sophomore year, after that freshman year of silliness, that sophomores begin to say, you know, my relationships with people are starting to become more mature. There's a lot of good about that, but the sadness about that is that sometimes if I am in a relationship and it goes sideways, it's like it's more painful now. It's not the silliness maybe that it once was. And because it's more painful, it's more difficult for me to trust, to get on with my life, we might say. And 2B, we got all kinds of interesting things going on here. Of course, the speaker of the poem in a lyric poem is the maybe the speaker, it, it, we again don't want to assume it's, it's Lorca the poet, but we will say the speaker is clearly the brokenhearted one, the one who is totally distraught, can only use words to describe, and yet those words can't describe. So he begins, or she begins, to think more about the possibility of the guitar being representative, the song, the sound of a sad guitar. Notice we've got all kinds of repetition going on here. Notice we've got the, the repetition as weeps the water, as weeps the wind over snow. Notice we've got the repetition of now begins the cry, now begins the cry. The word impossible, notice coming back a couple of times to suggest it's almost impossible to express what one feels and to get over what one feels. Finally, at 3A, what is for you the text that best speaks to a broken heart? It may be a film. It may be a song. What's your go-to song on your playlist the last time that you were involved in a circumstance where your heart was broken? Can you remember that song? And why was that song for you something that worked? Did it take you back to the past? Did it remind you that you had to keep going into the future? We, of course, can think in our freshman year of Romeo and Juliet and the fact that Romeo is so distraught at the beginning of that play because Rosaline won't return his texts, remember the irony. And then later that evening he meets Juliet, who just a day and a half or two days later he's going to end up dead with because he's so, he's so distraught in imagining that he has lost her. We think of that story from our freshman year, Pyramus Thisbe, where the two lovers will kill themselves out of anguish for not having the love of their life, right? What is for you a moment in your life when you went through this experience? Can you, can you remember the moment that most profoundly you went through this experience where your heart felt wounded by five swords and you felt like you would not get through it at all? And maybe even reading a poem like this for you brings back some, you know, post-traumatic stress syndrome type thing where you go, dude, I really don't like remembering how painful that was. Or do you have a tendency to look back and be relieved that the thing didn't work out and you moved on with your life? How do you move on beyond a broken heart? Another 3B question. It's a powerful image using a musical instrument to describe the pain that one feels. Well, there you go. An introduction to uh, a pretty profound little poem, notice. A powerful little lyric poem about love and broken love.